Welcome back to an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. This game is so wacky and I'm loving every minute of it. I know you are. I'm probably going to toss some things. You can take that. I don't want that. You can take the bed. I don't need that. Okay. Uh, what else? Here. I'll keep the thing. I don't need the ball. Ball! I don't need the squeaky. We keep running into more of those things. I'll keep the human heart because I feel like it has a thing. Uh, I'll keep the guitar. It sounds cool. The magic book, the orb. Uh, I think this is. Oh, that was the record. Mothman vinyl. I'll hold on to that, I guess. And of course, your passport. I have a beach ball, too. And this? Oh, the silver yarn. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything. Mm -hmm. Alright, just so I have less to worry about. Alright, let's explore this side and then we'll go talk to Krista. Okay, like, totally not a gun store. Uh, uh. Balls. A car shop. A passport. Umbrellas again. Hats. A skate shop. Yep. Uh, coffee shop. More balls. Got new suitcases. We don't have to have We don't have to smell each other's butts. We can just walk away. I'm doing just that, friend. Vinyl shop, more donut. No, snow cones. Uh, hold on. Um, hi! I sell snow cones, which are made up of a bunch of tiny flavored pieces of frozen water that makes your tongue cold your brain happy. Want one? How is the ice flavor? Very carefully. Take this job cone for example. We just have to make the ice red and, and dogs be a bit colorblind. Is that a chunk of marinara and you play with ice? A bit of... A speck of strawberry? Who knows? What's important is, it tastes good. And that you don't think about it. Would this be dangerous? Did you say one of the cones might be flavored with blood? No. No, I did not. Why can't I order one of the other flavors? Chubby <laughs> <laughs> flavored ice cream ice cone coming up. Enjoy. Hum nom nom. Hum nom nom. <laughs> Willie do I was going to do like the pure imagination, but you got it. Well, hello. I'm Willie Dogka, purveyor of sweet treats, emissary of adventure, and sinner of sins. You do want a golden ticket. Do you want a golden ticket to adventure? 
Is it made of real gold? Yes! It is wildly expensive. I shouldn't be giving them out so often. It's so lonely. All of the time. It leads to a variety of poor choices. What do you tickets actually do? They're golden tickets. You can use them for gold stuff, but not ticket stuff. Make sure we take a special trip together. You can also give it a grant access to an exclusive airport lounge where I have not attempted to visit due to horrific social anxiety. Mm. Is the ticket made out of real gold? Yes! Oh, I know, I did this part. How did you make all your money? The other folks just give this stuff away. Me, on the other hand, I hoard it to make, it, to make the bad feelings go away. Absolutely not. <laughs> Wait, what did you mean by us flying together? Uh, well, you see, I very slightly altered your. I very slightly altered your reality with money. Wait a minute. This is the light bending rich dude. <laughs> <laughs> the next time you board a plane, I'll be there. I'll be there. Tell me what that means, Willie Dog Cub. <laughs> okay, awesome. Good conversation. No more questions now. <laughs> uh. Oh, you came back. That does not happen often. I'd like a golden ticket. Behold, a golden ticket. Please take care of it. Goodbye. Please come back when you can. So what does this say? Um. Uh, H, H E C. Heck. H E C K. Heck. heck? Y. Uh, e. Heck yeah. A. Heck, heck yeah. yeah. Uh, R O. No. No D. D. Oh, D yeah, the R looks very similar to the R, but D, D O something. D Wait, what was the third one? D O G K A Dogka. Yeah, oh. Dogka, like Willy Dogka. Dogka. Hey. Symbol. Um. Uh, oh, Dogka Industries. All right, what does the top three there, and then the 30? Uh. Well, I know I had trouble finding the first symbol what they are, honestly. earlier. Uh, F. Um, U. N. Fun 30. I, what time is that? I don't know! Donuts again? Donuts. No time to talk. I need someone to give me a sexy picture of a 40 pound barbell without asking questions. What? So wait, this thing doesn't even tell us what gate, huh? No. Well, now I need to find out. No. Elf planet. Uh. Let us it gets closed. Uh, let's see, does he actually give me more info? I don't think so. No, he doesn't. Okay. I have no idea what to do with this then. Huh. Excuse me while I smack myself in the face. Krista! I've been smacking my face with cactuses. I've been told it was a good idea.
Yo, where have you been? Smacking my face with cactuses, can't you see? Uh, let's see. I was hanging out with dogs. A lot of dogs. Sounds like you've been having a heck of a good time. Good for you. Which means a lot of bats testing in the lab right now. It's giving me time to think. Also, time to finally show up at a meeting early. It's, I have a bit of a wild idea. Have you considered making a friend? Well, let me tell you about this shady dog that I was told not to trust, but totally trusted and got him a passport. Also, I think Safety Dog might be my friend at this point. I have friends! Would you, uh, have a mind? Well... I know most dogs I talk to are the... Are, I know most dogs I talk to are kind of my friend by default, and that's nice. But it's transient too. Transient. Transient, sorry. I kind of missed the end there. Um, it's important to have friendships that go beyond a smile. That's why I was going to suggest That, uh... What? what if you became friends with Cage Dog? You mean the guy that locked us in a cage? Why him yes. specifically? Cage Dog, the dog that loves cages. Cage Dog? The, lo the dog who loves cages? The dog that locked us in a cage? There are... I can understand the objections. I was the one that said... You should be more careful about trusting incredibly large dogs who like drop, dropping cages on people. Yeah, you think? But before he locked in the cage, us in the cage, he seemed like a pretty cool guy. I don't know. He's deeper than a lot of dogs we meet. How do you know that? Yeah, how do you? Also, you have an on again, off again. Friendship rivalry thing going on. That that seems like it might they might have great potential. A rivalry, if you will. We met him right before we had the anniversary dinner, and then he locked us in a cage. I don't think we've had a history. I have serious doubts. He's already betrayed you once. What's the worst that could happen? He does it again? Yeah, and you can't find me, because I'm locked in a cage somewhere. Can you promise to at least give it some consideration? Uh, Alright, for you. Thank you. Last I heard, Cage Dog, the, the dog that loves cages, was in Patsville. Do with that information what you will. As far as the next meeting spot, hmm, what do you say finding a way back to beach well? I want to get on my tan before the work before work speeds up again. Sounds like a plan. Fantastic. Love you, weirdo. Love you too, weirdo. So to beach yourself with a cactus. So beach well and Patsville. Sounds like Patsville is going to be our main. Uh shot here. Alright, let's see. Keep on smacking. Alright, what is this? No, not your anus. Patsville, yes please. 2306, what time is it now? Uh, just look for the humongous clock out That's in the middle of the... That's what I'm doing. Blood. We got like five hours to burn. May as well speed up time. Well, the bed does five hours instantly, so... Yeah, but I threw that away. Good. 
so as not to fuck us up and accidentally click it. I think there's a big piece of like glass here or something. Uh, maybe to separate like the other way. Because isn't that like a tram stop? Hmm. Hmm. Time acceleration. It was like yeah. twenty three. Twenty three oh six. Okay. We are gate C two. C2, over this way. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna have to give this guy something, probably. Oh, oh yeah. Which may uh, or may not mean that uh, we might need to get another ticket. Yeah. Hmm. Hopefully he'll want something we have. Ideally. C2. Ah. The Corgi. Let's a fuck trot around. Let's a fuck trot around the world. It's gonna say the same forever. Not me. I learned better. There's a storm. I'm gonna need to help get some. Oh! I need an umbrella. You can bring me one. Okay. Uh, what made you like this? I learned the hard way that the world will change on you when you least expect it. A friend told me we play fetch. He threw a ball. I started running. Uh, I started running as fast as I could. I turned around for just a second to smile at him. Show him how much I believed. Sh show him that together we could get that ball. And the ball, I saw the, the ball, I saw the ball, and he was still holding the damn ball. Oh, he looked into the heart of the world that day. I wasn't prepared for the darkness. Never again. I don't want to go oh. to umbrella, but I don't have an option. How about that? Corgi. Your pilot is drunk and you ready for takeoff. Will Will Willie be here? I don't know. He is. Hmm. You're here on my candy plane. I got you. 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 You can't escape. Uh. <laughs> oh god. Loneliness has turned me into a monster. Did you trap me on your candy plane? It's a system. Which I suppose makes it worse. The protocol gets into effect, utilizing a great deal of time and effort to divert their flight. Instead of boarding a Lufa Airlines flight to Dogstress, Dogstress or something, they'd end up on my candy plane next to me. You're the first person to talk to me in a very long time. I shouldn't have brought you here without asking, so I'm sorry. Activate the system? The short answer is no. The long answer is also no. Incredibly complicated set of things while I was deep asleep, deeply asleep. I'm deeply sleep deprived. And if I, I so much as look at the system again, it could destroy the concept of airports as we know it. Mistakes are made on purpose. If you talk to me out, if you talk to me out of the world, the system will activate again. But I'll always drop you off where you wanted to go. No matter what, you will get home. I promise. I'm so, so sorry. You know sorry is not, isn't enough, right, Willie? Yes, I do. So I'm just going to do what I can to fix things and leave you to your thoughts. What space is your own, and really, I have a lot of things to work through. Me on his candy plane. 
Mm. All right, we're in Patsville. We're gonna have to find another umbrella shop. I miss my umbrella. Yes, your magical umbrella. <laughs> what? What? It's a dog with airplane wings. Hmm. I bought a really cool motorcycle, but then I realized I'm not cool enough to ride it. So, these days, I kind of just stand next to it awkwardly. This is toilet paper again. Lamps. Didn't we see a lamp thing before? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think that's an L something, um, G. A light. Light. Uh, S, S. Light shop. Light no, shop. light. Okay. Light show, light show. Welcome to the light show. Now you strike me as a chandelier type of guy. Uh, yeah, we did. I remember chandeliers. Okay. Skipping. Yeah, we, we talked to this dude already. Uh, that's the photo booth. Clothing. Orb. What is going on here? Uh. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Huh. I'm up here now. Okay. I'm. I was half thinking it had like magical lifting properties. I mean, it kind of seemed that way, but I didn't expect it to just straight up take me all the way up. Oh. All right, what? Uh, I'm sorry, what is going? Uh -huh. Okay. Wait. Okay, I thought for a second it was going to, like, phase through. Oh, it goes up the wall and down. All right, weird. Hmm. These... What is going... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? Uh, every time I walk into a room, the lights get stopped. Let me tell you, it ruins selfies. Uh, let me take this go faster. I just realized we need Torrent to get up these. <laughs> uh, oh, big one. I'll check that out in a minute. I want my umbrella first, if I can find yeah. one. Yeah. Guitar, more orb, guitar. Safety dog! I knew he was in trouble the moment he walked in through my door. That's how all Nord things say hello. So howdy. If you find anything illegal or dangerous, I'll give you a special reward. Anything you'd like to turn in today? What's the reward? The reward for this planet is a beautiful gem that definitely isn't cursed and super isn't taken from a mysteriously departed spouse. I don't know why my source felt the need to clarify that these gems are not cursed and not connected to the spirits of their many mysterious departed partners, but they sure did talk about it. We talked about it a lot, actually. Yeah, I'm going to try not to think about the implications of any of this. It's just more safe. What brings you to the path, Bill? Safety dog. Probably the eternal night unbroken by the quiet buzz of streetlights. There's so many shadows, and people insist on wearing fedoras over their eyes. It's a giant tripping hazard. Anything to be careful about here? Most places are pretty safe, barring the love of my fellow dogs for shenanigans. I hope you haven't. Uh, I hope I haven't inspired you to worry. 
that said, avoid cage dog. Oh. There are alleyways in Patsville. You, you shouldn't walk down. Alright, well, cool. Flowers. This is more moth man. The flower thing isn't it? No, it's not. I'm dumb. More flowers again. Not music. Baristas. There are rumors that the dog science agency is going to correct the secret of interdimensional travel. The pun aside, <laughs> I can't wait to see what comes next. Uh, let's see. Suitcases. That. That's the library again. More orb meat. Uh, another orb. Wait, what? This is the, what is this? Radical. As you can see, this is a disturbingly primary colored establishment because we're in the technology business. I assume you want to possess the one of an incredible, all-powerful smartphone. Why would I need a smartphone? There's phones everywhere. They're smooth, delicious, delicious, and incredibly satisfying to flush down the toilet. I think that's a reference to the fact that sometimes dogs chew on them. Oh, okay, okay. I once had to inspect a driver's license that was, um, post-dog attack. Post so in what way? They, they were like heavy chew marks on one side of the driver's license. And here I was really was half expecting you to tell me it went through the dog. <laughs> wait, wait. The driver's license attacked the dog? No, I said went through. Oh, went through. Oh, okay. Oh. As in the dog ate it and it came out the other end. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, I had, like, some surgery to get it out of the stomach. Potentially mm -hmm. that. Can I flush a payphone down the toilet? That's cool. Uh, I'm good. My toilet is full these days. Very understandable. As soon as you get more toilet space, please let me know. Well, hello. It's good thing to see you again. May I have a phone? Certainly, sir. Here you go. It doesn't do anything. I'm sad. <laughs> At least the cactus lets me go faster. Oh! Next time on an airport gun. An airport for aliens currently run by dogs. I want More my umbrella. Airport. More dogs. Oh.